When people complain about boxing, invariably the four tired screeds are sung ad nauseum. The heavyweights aren't what they used to be. The big fights aren't on free TV anymore. There are too many divisions. And the sanctioning bodies water down the sport with their proliferation of belts and sully it with corruption. Let's bury these myths, shall we? First, while the heavyweight division did go through 20 years of lousy fights and lousy fighters, that slumps over. And like it was in the quote, good old days, it's full of real fighters who are some of the most recognized athletes in the world and not just well-built nobodies in Everlasts. And that free TV argument? First, get over it. Second, there are more fights on free TV now than at any other point in the last 30 years. Are there too many divisions? Hell yes, there are. 17 for crying out loud. So if you're trying to keep track of who's who in boxing, it isn't easy. But really, no more difficult than following European soccer, what with how many different leagues? Or American college football, with their ever-shifting conferences and the 12-team Big Ten and the 10-team Big 12. Keeping track of what's happening in pro boxing really gets difficult when you factor in the four major sanctioning bodies. So 17 divisions actually turns into 68 world champions. And those aren't counting the bogus world titles that the WBA uses to breed confusion and bleed sanctioning fees. That's why we need to laud the two sanctioning bodies that have totally eschewed bogus world titles, the IBF and the WBO. Despite the checkered past of the IBF, which was once brought to its knees by a racketeering scandal involving cash for rankings, the New Jersey-based organization is now considered by many to be the most honest of the big four. At one point, the mere mention of the WBO would send eyes rolling incredulously into the back of heads, with the thinking that the WBA offshoot was another group with designs on diluting credibility and stuffing pockets. It turns out, other than moving deceased fighter Darren Morris up its super middleweight rankings in 2001, the Puerto Rico-based sanctioning body has largely been a benign presence, which in boxing is a great thing. Finally, there's the WBC, the granddaddy of sanctioning bodies. Sure, they muddy the waters a little bit with their diamond titles that are agonizingly similar to their world titles, but not quite the same. The Mexico City organization is actually taking a critical role in the battle against PEDs in boxing founding the clean boxing program in conjunction with the Voluntary Anti-Doping Association and randomly testing all of their ranked fighters through the course of the year, catching those who cheat and removing those who opt out. And they go after the big dogs too, nabbing A-siders like Alexander Povetkin and Lucien Boutte. So while there may be some reasons to still be skeptical, there are far more reasons than ever to say that the boxing glass is nearly overflowing than dead and dry.